news break. Brought to you by National Mutual. Good evening. A prison officer is in hospital tonight after being stabbed by an inmate at Sydney's Long Bay Jail. He's now undergoing tests for AIDS after being attacked by an HIV-positive prisoner carrying a hypodermic syringe full of blood. It's possible the prisoner may be charged with attempted murder. New hopes tonight that interest rates will fall. The chief of the ANZ Banking Group has forecast a 2% drop by the end of the year. Speaking on the Nine Network Sunday program, Will Bailey said the drop, if it comes, will benefit businesses first. Encouraging because there is the capacity for a 2% rate drop across the whole spectrum of rates, with the exception, I'd say, of housing, which didn't go up to the levels of other rates and therefore won't fall back as far. But the opportunity is there and I really think it can be taken up. Homicide detectives in Sydney are investigating the discovery of a body floating off Tamarama Beach just south of Bondi. Police divers began searching after blood was found on a nearby clifftop. The body is believed to be that of a Thai national. He was last seen alive on Friday. A four-year-old deaf boy missing for 24 hours in scrubland in South Australia has been found safe and well. Nathaniel Catanaro disappeared in the Barossa Valley late yesterday while waiting his turn to go trail bike riding. After a search involving 120 people, Nathaniel was found this morning asleep on the bank of a creek. Britain is experiencing a heat wave that's threatening water supplies. On Tuesday, many parts of southern England and Scotland will be officially declared in drought if there's no rain. While it's good news for beachgoers on the first days of the school holidays, the heat is being blamed for dangerous pollution levels. Now, a quick look at tomorrow's weather. Brisbane fine, 24. Adelaide mostly fine, 18. A few showers for Perth and Sydney will be fine with a forecast top of 20. The golf is next. For now, all I can say is good night.